So hopefully we've got a crop which has not been contaminated in the field, but mycotoxins can grow during the storage process. The key is to exclude the air. A good test is the fingertip test on the face. You shouldn't be able to get more than a quarter of a fingernail into the face when you press hard. This has been well compacted and the face is kept extremely clean. This means the air can't get in. If the air can't get in, moulds can't grow. Mould spores are looking for nutrients, moisture, air and a pH of over 4.1. If you have those conditions anywhere in your feed storage area, moulds can grow and mycotoxin contamination will occur. Of course, under practical conditions it's very difficult to avoid all spoilage on a silage face. For instance, up there on the, on the shoulder you tend to get wastage. What you must avoid at all costs is getting that wastage into the feed and contaminating it. And here for an example, some waste has fallen down and get in, got into an area which may well get put into the feed. Avoid this at all costs, it, at the very minimum it will reduce the palatability of your feed.